Hello and welcome. This is Annie from God in Scripture. And what a joy it is, the Feast of the Assumption. It's one of the most celebrated feast days in the whole of Europe. And um, I've been there many times myself in Europe on a summer holiday and come across the celebrations going on for the Assumption, wondering what on earth this big celebration was, um, where they parade um, statues of Mother Mary in the streets and they have street parties and fireworks and all sorts of things. So before I go on with the video about the Assumption, which we'll just go into a little bit and then have a short prayer to Our Lady afterwards. If you haven't subscribed to my video channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of any new videos as they come out. Thank you. So um, the dogma of the Assumption happened in 1950 and um, a dogma is always something that the church has believed for a very long time um, but now it's written into uh, a fact of the church that you, you have to believe as a dogma and it follows on um, nearly a hundred years after the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. So at the end of the document written by Pope Pius IX on the Assumption it says finally the Immaculate Virgin, preserved free from all stain of original sin, when the course of her earthly life was finished, was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory, and exalted by the Lord as Queen over all things, so that she might be the more fully conformed to her Son, the Lord of Lords and Conqueror of sin and death. So Mary was always free from corruption. She could not pass any corruption on to Christ in the womb. And so she becomes the new Ark of the Covenant, because Christ, who is God, could not have come into the world any other way. Interestingly, the original Ark of the Covenant was covered with gold and then with a deep blue cloth. And so gold and blue are a sign of God's presence. And Mary is also associated with those colours, with gold and deep blue. So in a homily this morning on the Assumption, I heard a very interesting fact about the Ark of the Covenant and uh, Mary's visitation to her cousin Elizabeth because she went on the same journey uh, to visit Elizabeth as the original Ark of the Covenant went on when it went into Jerusalem to David. It went on that very same route. Now when the original Ark went to Jerusalem to David, David was dancing for joy naked in front of the in front of the ark of the covenant because he was so excited that he was god's presence had come to him so um it's the same really as when elizabeth hears the sound of mary's voice and the baby in her womb john the baptist jumps for joy at the sound of mary's voice so that's very interesting that they both took exactly the same route, the old Ark of the Covenant and the new Ark of the Covenant, Mary's womb. Now let's listen to what St. Faustina says about the Assumption of Mary. On August the 15th, 1937, during meditation, God's presence pervaded me keenly and I was aware of the Virgin Mary's joy at the moment of her Assumption. Towards the end of the ceremony carried out in honour of the Mother of God, I saw the Virgin Mary, and she said to me, Oh, how very pleased I am with the homage of your love. Another saint who confirms the assumption for us is Saint Anne Catherine Emmerich, and she had many, many visions, and this one was um, in Ephesus, where Our Lady died in her house in Ephesus, and all the apostles were there, and she saw they, they buried Our Lady, but then they went out to pray, by where they buried her and they saw the Lord and of course Anne Catherine Emmerich saw this in her vision they saw the Lord coming down with all his angels to assume Mary's body soul and body up into heaven um, so it's great to have these confirmations from saints as well okay so we're going to go into the prayer now beautiful prayer uh, it's like a short litany to Our Lady when my hour of death has come Lead me safely to the presence of Jesus to enjoy the vision of my God for all eternity together with you. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when the angels took you up into heaven. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when your Son called you to heaven. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when the whole heavenly court crowned you in heaven. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when you were received with such great honour into heaven. 
Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when you were placed at the right hand of your Son in heaven. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when you were crowned with such great honour in heaven. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when you were proclaimed the daughter, mother and spouse of God in heaven. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when you were proclaimed queen of the whole heavenly court. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when all the angels and saints rendered homage to you in heaven. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when you were chosen to be our protectress in heaven. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when you began to intercede for us in heaven. Blessed be that moment, O Mary, when you will mercifully receive us into heaven. Amen. Let us pray. Mary, you were assumed body and soul into heaven by the power of God and united with your divine Son, Jesus. Obtain eternal happiness with him for us. Amen. So may God bless you and thank you for watching. Do please comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much. Bye bye. God bless.